Thank you. So, hi everyone. I'm glad to see you all at ThanosCon today. I hope you all are having a great time. I just learned a bunch of stuff from Reddit and Cloudflare that I plan to implement. Um, so I'm going to talk about some project updates today. Um, but before that, as Martha kind of introduced me already, uh, I'm Sasha Mukherjee. I'm a software engineer at Red Hat, particularly working on monitoring platforms based around Thanos. I'm a Thanos maintainer and was a GSOC mentee. And I also help maintain certain other uh, projects like Observatorium and MDocs. You can find me as uh, Saswata M code pretty much anywhere. So it makes sense to talk about uh, what the Thanos community was up to over the last year, especially at ThanosCon today, and talk about the impressive features that we've built with the community and the improvements that we have made, and how you can make the most out of all of these. I'll highlight some of the most important ones as I have like 10 minutes, but feel free to explore the change log, commit history, um, to get a comprehensive view of the work that was put in. So starting with the Thanos Square year, and this has been the focus of a lot of work this past year. Um, so the first thing is distributed engine has now been released, and this is a major chunk of work that was undertaken by Philip, who is one of our maintainers, and this involved creating a gRPC query API, creating a distributed engine interface on our Vulcano engine, and then tying it all together in Thanos. And so normally a query would need to pull in all the data from stores before actually evaluating a query, but with this distributed execution, a query can be transformed into some subqueries that can be delegated to either leaf or child queries in a sort of distributed architecture like we saw. Um, so a query is transformed, where, and that can drastically reduce the number of series that each single query has to process, thereby making your PromQL uh, query that much easier to process. Uh, the query is actually re rewritten by this distributed execution optimizer in our Thanos Volcano engine and its associated interfaces. And this feature can now be enabled on Thanos using the query.mode flag. So the distributed execution mode is ideal for setups with independent queries that are federated by a central query and you need to query long range data over multiple different sources. So please try it out and let us uh, know if you see any particular issues. Next, we introduced an SQL-like analysis and query explanation feature by working with uh, some of our mentees actually on the Thanos Volcano engine. And so what this allows you to do is visualize how the query engine is actually processing your query and with what operators so that you can choose to optimize your queries as you wish by clicking the explain button and getting the operator tree on the query tree of your particular query. And you can then check the analysis checkbox and hit execute. And you'd get back the query result and you'd get the same query tree. But this time it would be a bit different. You would get it decorated with the amount of time it took for each of those operators to actually do their work. And this just gives you a deeper insight into where your query is spending most of its time. And we hope that these can be used in flow like this, where you sort of optimize with the query explanation until you're satisfied, and then uh, execute and get the analysis and maybe optimize even further if that's even possible. We also have a few um, dedicated updates for the Volcano engine in particular, it now supports more than 95% plus of PromQL expressions. So it is already a very nice and viable um, replacement for the Prometheus engine in the context of Thanos. And we have also added an HTTP flag for dynamically switching between the Prometheus and Thanos engines on the fly on the Thanos query. And this just makes it easy to query both and get results on the fly, compare speed, sometimes even compare correctness and so on. And we've also added a checkbox that kind of allows you to get the span ID or the tracing ID of a particular Promkian query run so that you can find the trace for your query on a tracing tool of your choice. And lastly, we also introduced the notion of query tenancy natively in Thanos now. So you can fire Promkian queries from either the query front end or the query with a sort of tenant header and then get back data for only the tenant you're looking for. It's important to know that Thanos doesn't really support authentic authentication or authorization features, as that is kind of out of scope, but you can pair it with other OSS tools um, to get authorized tenancy on Thanos query. 
And as we are closely knit with the Prometheus community, we actually leveraged PROM labeling proxy and imported it into Thanos to enable this feature. And I don't want to spoil it anymore since my colleagues Colleen and Jacob will actually be delivering a talk about this shortly right here at ThanosCon today. Now, moving on to another component, receive. We introduced a feature for availability zone aware replication. So this feature kind of allows you to configure your hash ring with nodes and mention the AZs or the regions that they belong to. And this gets factored into our Ketama hash ring algorithm and we ensure that remote write requests get forwarded and replicated evenly across particular regions. Um, and that should ultimately help boost your ingestion SLOs if you maintain that or even disaster recovery scenarios. This is still an alpha feature, so there might be bugs, so feel free to try it at your own risk and report back to us. Uh, we also added support for tenant-specific external labels to receive hash rings along with a menti of ours. And with this, you can kind of add external labels to hash rings for particular tenants, which would then add these external labels to all of the aforementioned tenants' TSDBs. And this is really useful when trying to partition and select um, tenant blocks from receive arbitrarily, such as querying tenants that share the same attribute, maybe in your context, and so on. And finally, we also introduced a feature for clock skew protection. So there are user reports, particularly from companies around Telco or so, where due to some of their nodes getting clock skewed, um, they get samples that are far too into the future. And this disrupts the ingestion path and often causes gaps in data as samples from correct Promethei can no longer be ingested because you already have a sample for the future. And so you can set a flag uh, with a particular time window on a threshold and you can ensure that you don't end up ingesting future timestamped samples beyond this threshold. So then you can still ingest your normal metrics and uh, get rid of the faulty ones. And finally, moving on to the store gateway, we have a new feature to enable selective index caching. And so in Thanos right now, we cache three things. We cache uh, the series, the postings, and we also cache expanded postings now. Um, but what you can do is you can use the enabled items configuration option and can choose to only cache certain items in the Thanos index cache to optimize for situations better suited to your needs. So say, let's say if you have some sort of memory constrained environment, you can choose to only cache expanded postings maybe instead of everything. And you can also set up different types of cache servers to uh, serve different things and maybe as some future work, we'd have tiered caching um, so that you can add multiple caches into store gateway. We also added an option to allow specifying time to lives or TTLs for items within remote caches like Redis and Memcached. Um, so things like postings, series, and expanded postings can be stored for longer um, and can be retained for longer to benefit repetitive or longer ranged queries. And there is a lot more that we worked on with the community to make Thanos the best it can be. A ton of improvements and features went into the latest releases many of which were from first-time contributors, mentees, and people who are looking to learn and get involved. So definitely feel free to try out all these features, see what works best for you, and explore. And we want your feedback and ideas about how you would like the future of Thanos to look like. Do you have some ideas, feature requests, or even cool integrations that you would like to see happen upstream? Then just grab any of us from the Thanos team throughout this conference, or just visit the project kiosk at the project pavilion, I think it's PP18A or something, yeah, and uh, talk to us about it. We are all ears and we'd love to note these downs and maybe work on this with you, actually. Thank you. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sasawata. So many features, uh, yeah, from the community. So